What Are Tea Nibs with General Disturbance. This is the AMX 13 F3AM, the tier 6 French SPG. This one's located on the southwest spawn of Glacier and it's under the command of Beat Asian Noobs. And he's got two marks of excellence on the barrel and he's ready to go. Game on! Well, this vehicle was so small that only the driver and the commander could actually be inside the vehicle. And they were actually inside. On the left-hand side of the vehicle, as you're looking at it at the moment, that's where the engine was. And on the other side, the driver up front with the commander sitting directly behind him. Everyone else had to travel in a truck. That's the only way they could transport them about. Okay, he's loaded, ready to go. 6.30 Alpha. Ooh, he looks like he's going to drop a round in there. Can he get this T-52? Round sound. Well, he splashes the guy and he's picking up stun assist already. And look at that. The T-52 ran into the Leopard. And I think that shortens his life a little. Because he lost a few hit points. Okay, we're well into reload now. The standard reload on this RT is 30.50 seconds. And you can see here that uh, Mutation Noobs has actually got a reload time of it's not showing. Oh, <laughs> well, that's interesting to know. My mods aren't working at the moment. Okay, he's trying to get the T-52 again. And he wounds him. Pretty sure the Vitation Oops has got a reload time somewhere around 25 seconds or less. I'll have to make sure that I sort out that uh, mod problem after this game. This game did actually come in only today, actually, funnily enough. Uh, but I was able to fit it in, obviously, because it was only a single replay. And it was directly after I'd just done a replay, or at least a double replay. Or the same vehicle now we can see that amx clc right up on top and below him down below is the um enemy headless the pants of the house from hr bk 3018 uh 301b rather of course the pants of fear house from h is not a heavy it's a medium and the t52 has gone to a very silly position he's right up the north of the map and he's facing off against an MX-12 ton. But we're going for the, the Panzer Fiat Alcerol H, and it's a good shot. He's changing his angle so he can get a better shot at the enemy this time. Should be able to hit the Panzer Fiat and also the, um, the VK-301P. There he is. And the Panzer Fiat is actually retreating now. The MX-12 ton managed to fire his four rounds. Unfortunately, though, he did die. Now, looks like the CDT wants to come back. And in doing that, he's actually killed his own teammate, the VK301P. I don't think that player is going to be very happy about that. And the CDT goes down as well. So the enemy's taken a major loss there. Yes, if you do block one of your teammates, you can expect to get uh, a few words. And I'm pretty sure the CDT is probably typing to the VK saying, you didn't let me pull back. Whilst the VK say, you pushed me out to the fire, and I got taken out the game. Okay, we're going to try and hit this Panzer Fiat Arsene H. He's moving about quite a bit. Rounds out. Well, we stunned him. Now, where will we get some stun assist? He's marked him as a target, so he's asking his teammates to hit him, but we've lost sight. Okay, we've got a couple of enemy tanks sitting up on the perch on that rock not a good place to be i've actually hit enemy tanks sitting up there and wiped them out with one shot and that's a direct hit on the turret i think he's missing a crewman now pretty sure he's missing a crewman that's where the loader was it the gunner goes yeah one of them is going to be out the game <laughs> i think he's gonna have to put his crew back in and the kv1 goes down what a silly position for the heavy tank Maybe he should have gone to the corner 
instead of that VK301H, uh, the um, Panzer Vier Ausführung H. Okay, so he's moving, he's changing position again. Okay, got a Type T-34 now. And yes, he's directly in front of us there. We're just dialing in. One more accurate shot. Now, rounds out. Go on. Oh, and he goes down before we even shoot. I get the feeling he didn't want to shoot because he wanted his teammate to get killed. Well, he's a very forward thinking arty player because he takes your noobs. He's actually getting closer to the enemy as much as he can to get more accurate hits and do more damage. He thinks that there's a Lawser M4A2 somewhere behind that uh, bunch of hedges. And I think that's probably true. Okay, his concentration skills come in. Instead, he was looking at the archer, see if there's any chance he could get that guy. We've got a three tank advantage, so he might as well take advantage of it. And in fact, those trees being knocked down there does indicate that somebody is at that firing position, but it may have been the archer knocked those trees down and has now changed position altogether. The laws has changed spot, and we can get a shot on him, lining it up. Rounds out. Wipeouts! That's the second kill for Btation noobs. Oh, now we just saw an enemy shot from, um, I think it was their M44, just killed our homie three, but it came from the corner. So I think the enemy tank is in B0. Okay, Hellcat's up there on the perch. Rounds out. Oh, another kill. That was a beautiful one as well. The Hellcats, no armor, easy kills. In fact, I think that was the OMX CLC who got the spotting from that one. So that's why he said thank you. Now, the skills active at this moment are communications expert because he's done more assists than he has the hit points for his own vehicle. He's only got 300 hit points, but he's earned 1,203, which means that he's now got a 2.5% bonus to his crew efficiency. That makes a big difference. And of course, he's got the concentration skill, which actually reduces the dispersion just saw the uh, tree knocked down there so somebody moved a little further south that could be their uh, m44 more than likely it is there's only four of them left they've got a panzer seps fire to fear b uh c rather which is the death toaster uh the su 122a and the m44 I think it's the M44, it's the more accurate version of the M2. Oh, tree just went down. Normally fire straight away at that one. Oh, he got him! Enemy armor is he got the archer, actually. We just saw the tracer from the enemy RT. Oh, yes, whenever you see a tree go down like that, you know somebody's just knocked it down. And, of course, uh, they're more than likely behind it. I remember seeing a tree go down at the start of a battle. I wiped out an enemy tank or so. A story mill that nobody had seen, uh, but I saw the tree go down, so I aimed the shell for the base of the tree and wiped out the enemy tank. And the poor guy was very, very disappointed because, of course, he hadn't been spotted. Well, we saw a tracer come from the corner again, but here's the death toaster. So we're dialing in, rounds out, and another kill. That's five. Can you get the top gun? It's going to be difficult because it is the SU-122A. But I think he is right up in the corner, a little further up, and we saw the tracer coming out from that area. Now, it's very unlikely he can see our teammates now because, of course, nobody's spotting for him. There he is. Rounds out. He was further down. Oh, he does get the top gun with the last shot. What a great game. Well, that was a great battle by b Noobs in the AMX 13 F3 AM. He got the last kill of the game. And it was an accurate...
accurate shot and he was right to aim further south i thought the um, su-122a was further north but uh, it turns out that he was closer to the south and he got it right out on target that was an ace tanker game for uh, BTH Noobs, he managed to get a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. In fact, he got 13. He got a high caliber for dealing the most damage in the game. And he got a top gun with the last shell to kill the last enemy tank or the last enemy arty, in fact, in this game. Let's have a look at the team score. Well, he did the highest damage with 1,999 hit points. That's definitely a 999. And... The second highest damage in the game went to the T1 Heavy with 1,181, followed by the, oh, it's actually the enemy team, the T52. He may have been all over the place on the battlefield, but he actually managed 1,041 hit points of damage in the game. When it came to kills, yep, he got that one too. Beatation Noobs got six kills. Next highest was the T52, managed three, and two kills went to the A43, the P43, and also the Panzer Sebs Falafeta C, the Death Toaster on the enemy team. And when it came to base XP, he's got that one as well. So he's got the top in all three columns. 1,109 means he's the only player to get over 1,000 base in that game. The next highest actually went to the T3485M on his team with 628, followed by the T1 Heavy with 620. Um, yes, yeah, so he was absolutely comprehensively the best player in the game on that one he fired only 12 rounds but he got six direct hits on the enemy three penetrating shots and nine splash he waited just that extra longer to let it dial in to make absolutely certain the shell went straight and true to the enemy plus of course with the concentration skill he was getting less deviation or dispersion and of course he had that communications expert which meant his crew was working extra hard towards the end of the game 1,999 hit points of damage, all of it done at more than 300 meters. Now, which ones did he penetrate? Well, it shows here the Archer was wiped out with a, a penetrating shot. The M18 Hellcat got a, a penetrating shot as well. And the last one was the SU-122, the last enemy arty, uh, or last enemy vehicle in the game. He took a penetrating shot as well. He damaged nine of the enemy, killed six of them, and did 1,203 hit points of stun assist off six stuns. And that got his uh, concentration skill working nicely. On a free-to-play account, he made a profit of 3,436 credits from the game, but that's because he was playing um, or paying for full consumables. He also made 2,218 experience points out of it as well, um, because, of course, um, he was on the free-to-play account. So... Um, would have been extra if he'd actually uh, had the um, um, the other account, of course, the, um, the premium account. But uh, not everyone does now. In fact, several of my accounts, I'm not uh, running premium at all. I'm actually just running on free-to-play. And uh, yes, it does present a bit of a problem because, of course, you can't earn as many credits on free-to-play as you do on the uh, premium Hope you enjoyed that game. That was a really nice example of how the AMX 13 F3 AM can play. It's one of the faster RTs actually in the game because, of course, it's got a top speed of 60 kilometers an hour. And if you do ever watch Wallstore Honest Gaming on a Saturday, Sunday, or a Monday, he's actually doing an RT free for all now. So if you watch his stream on Twitch TV, uh, every, um, well, not every day, but I think he has for the past three days, um, he does have a free-for-all where um, you can pick any RT you like. Um, he distributes them between two different teams. And uh, then um, the first RT of the opposite team to be wiped out allows a free-for-all where you can go for your teammates as well as the enemy. And the last person standing gets a thousand gold, which is very generous of him, actually. But it's actually very funny as well. Um, so you, you can either have a thousand gold or you can have it in uh, uh, boxes for the um, Waffentrager uh, event. But uh, it's actually rather funny because obviously there's a lot of people running around in FV304s, knocking out other FV304s. But occasionally you do get moments where you get uh, um, an, an M53, M55 taking on a uh, 105 FH-18B2. 
And it's actually the Lethe who actually wins, not the M53, as you might think. Um, yes, it gets a bit embarrassing. Every time I enter it, I get wiped out very quickly because somebody follows me around, <laughs> waits for me to kill something. And as soon as I've killed something or somebody else kills something, they wipe me out by shooting me in the rear. So really, I think from now on, if I enter that game, I'm going to have to make sure nobody's following me um, so that I survive longer. I hope you enjoyed this replay. If you did, please give this video a like. Do subscribe to our channel. Leave a little comment down below because it feeds the algorithm. And thank you for watching.